Oh, this is the part where it gets a little bit ugly. It's where it come, comes under here. So we go there to there. And we go here to here. There we go. Hold on. We need to put this right here. All right. This goes around here. I know this is an absolute abomination. But it's, an, it's a fun... Oh, no. No, what did I just do? Those were not supposed to end up on there. That's interesting. And then this needs to wrap around. Okay, see, there's, there's where our problem is. So we need to move over one further. Here. There we go. And we go under. And then we go... Plastic under, and plastic under. There, okay. There we go, and then one connects in here. Perfect, 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 okay. Now these uh, smelters are obviously gonna have to go. That day is coming very quickly. In fact, very, very crazy quickly where we're gonna actually have to do a proper job of managing this uh, lead. That's lead, right? Yeah, lead plate. But that is not the job for today. Those boxes will have to move. Again, not a job for today. Get out of there, tree. Okay, and under, oh, hello. Wait, hold on. How did that work with the stone? Oh, hold on, plastic's coming in. A little later than that. Let's merge it in right here. We'll get rid of, actually, okay, so since that's already been done, never mind, we're gonna That works. Interesting that I have to take trees down to take this out that I didn't have to take down to put it in. All right. Okay, a little further. It is coming in right beside the stone after all. Here we go. You from here to here, you from here to here, and then... Plastic is on the plastic is on the bus. Welcome to the bus. All right, plastic taken care of. Now what? Okay, now we needed. What else do we need? Silicon wafers being made from silicone plate, which is made from calcium chloride, which we're going to make as one of the chemical products. Yeah, so we can ship. Is there a different silicon product? Yes, there is. So we're gonna ship silicon plate down the line. Yeah. Eight silicon wafers from one silicon plate. Yeah, we'll ship silicon plate down the line. That's gonna get silicon itself. It's gonna get made in an electrolyzer. Okay, now why is this taking so long? Because you're getting almost no gas. You're getting almost no gas, probably because these other two are starting to back up really fast. No? It's just making it as fast as it can. Now, we don't have the ability to crack oil yet. I don't believe in a chemical plant. Intermediate products. We can make solid fuel. No, we can't crack oils yet. So what we see is what we got. The best I could do would be to make more, so we're going to have to be careful what we automate first with plastic. That's, of course, going to be the next tier. It's basically, we're going to get the electronic circuit boards going. That's exactly what we talked about doing. Alright, so we're going to leave some space for a cracking line. Actually, cracking will go over here, I think. Because, yeah, the rail line, the rail will be up in here. So yeah, so cracking, if I need it, will be over here on the other side of the storage tanks. And so this is where we're going to start our chemical processing line. 
So, what do we need to do first? Well, we need to make ferrofluid, which required hydrogen chloride, which required... So it was a three-stage electrolyzer process, if I recall correctly. So let's start with that line. We'll give a couple extra... A, a bit of extra... One extra space. That'll be enough space for a belt. No, the belts are going to go in behind. So we need water, which we're going to put in via these pumps. And we'll do that right here. Hmm, we're going to do that. We'll do that right here. Now, it's a shame those things have an odd size. I may be able to squeeze it in the corner here. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll put you right there to start. Take the water underground here. Give it a little power. Tell it to produce regular water. Okay, so we need pipeline and our first electrolyzer. Hmm, right, we're going to need the chemical furnaces. That's what we're going to need first. We're going to need a line of chemical furnaces. So this will be here. It's going to produce salt from water. And we're going to need fuel to come down here. So we're going to need to split off some more coal. Bring it down and around. Okay, bring this down here, and take it under, and um, how are we going to do this? And let's see, we will, no, we're going to take it along the other side, aren't we? We, what we really need is we need the coal right here. Yeah, we don't really want need walls here specifically, so we can do it the way I originally planned. No. Hold on, no. The pipe's going to be in the way, so no, this is going to have to go this way. Splitter will be just a little sooner. That'll just be a little longer. There we go. Okay. So one inserter to put coal in here. There we go. And that can go there. Okay. You're making this. Salt. Now salt is going to go onto a belt. We can make that a little more compact by making it a right-handed inserter unloader. Oh. Darn it all. One further down. Alright, how's that going to work with the coal, though? No, it'll go... Yes, like that, to here, the coal will go around, hmm, hmm. I think what we'll do, we'll do this differently. We're going to take the water much further away. So the water will come under. So the belt will follow the wall. 
going under the power lines. These are actually going to get replaced with electric versions later anyways. So that'll go right there. So it might, it'll actually probably need a redesign anyways. The main water line will run along Oh, wait, what am I thinking? We have a water line right here. We can just make it a easily tap water line. Take this under here. There we go. And then that'll just go under there. Okay. Making salt. Unloading salt onto a line. Because we have salt. Yeah, because we're going to make salt water. That's what we're doing. All right, there's our salt. Excellent. Tons of salt. Don't actually really need to be making it, but it's good to have one set up ready to go. Okay. Next up, our first electrolyzer. Which is also going to be receiving water. Yeah, I think that's exactly how we're going to do it, because we're going to need so much water here. This water line's going to have to be really... We're going to do saltwater electrolysis. Okay, and now we need... Um, large pipes. We're going to use stone pipes for the gases. So we need our usual method for... Did I not get any underground stone pipes? I did not. Because my theory is that we're going to need these gases for other things. So we should get more of them. Let's just lay down a whole bunch more concrete here. Whoops. There we go. I really want to keep this nice and clean. All right, that used all that up. Okay. Okay, we'll use... Oh, and we need um, to make a... That's going to be a left inserter. Where is it? Left inserter. There we go. Oh my god, this has been a long episode already, guys. Okay, well, let's uh, get the last electrolysis step done. The next one is going to be... Make us, um, hold on, what were we trying to make here? Oh yes, is it electrolyzing? No, it's um, chemical. Next step is chemical. And it's gonna have to be, yep, no, it's gonna work exactly as it is because we get a stone to ground. And then we put a power line in between, and then if we were going to have two of these, which we probably will, the second one right there, and so it'll go stone to ground under to here, and then under, okay, and then this one will come, no, you're not making ferric fluid, you're making gas. So we get two of these making gases. Okay. Now, what are we missing? What is this thing missing? Salt. Oh, it's missing an output for... That's what I missed. Darn it. Um, how are we going to do that? That part? Okay. Okay, hold on. Let's just think about this. We have three outputs, not two. 
So if we do it the following way, if we have a belt, I know what I need to do. So we have a belt going through here. And that's going to be the end of the line right there. You'll see why in a moment. Because we're going to take that excess that we've got. Nope. Oh, that's not going to work. Um, darn it. Okay, no, that idea is not going to work. Because we're going to be expanding this way. So, I mean, we can still make sure we've got it on the right same side of the line at all times. There we go. All right, what we need is a home for that. So if we're gonna take it out here, we could box it here, and could we use a long-armed inserter to get it out? I, I'm, I'm just, I'm messing around with ideas here, guys. I have sort of a vague idea of how this is gonna work damage, sure. So if I do that, and that becomes a belt full of this, the question is, how can I get the next line in? So if I say I had a box of the stuff that I need to get rid of right there, and I put sodium hydroxide in there, it would definitely leapfrog it from box to box would mean that my next electrolyzer, so this is going to be a little bigger than I had originally planned, but so the next one, no, that's perfect. Okay, so the only challenge I'm looking at is, okay, so pipe has to go from here and here. That is the spacing I need to use. So it's one further down is all. And then that goes down to there. This also will produce saltwater electrolysis. See, yeah, there's no way to make it any cleaner than I. Let's just put it right there. Get rid of this. It's going to be so hard to get through this once I start building it up full full throttle. It's the coverage on that. It's one short of where it needs to be. So. We'll put that right there for now, and we'll see what happens. Okay. You go to there. You go to there. We put in two chemical plants for now. Both of you making hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride being a single output product and producing nothing but the gas. Can go... I guess I just make this... I can get in here if I need to. I don't think I'll need to, but I can get in there. And then we go with... Now we make the uh, fluid. Ferric chloride. So what we'll have is... Another power line to here. No, one back. And we are going to need... Now we're back to fluids, so it's going to be iron pipe time. Alright, and then this will be the output point for the ferric chloride. It's actually... We'll do it here. We don't really need that one output point. Alright. Now the ferric chloride will come in here from the train station eventually, but we can just reverse that later. So what we need right now is iron, iron ore. And iron ore we already have coming down this way for the concrete. Excellent, okay. Now of course it's going to be a little crowded to get it around, but... We'll just take it this way for now. 
Again, another one of those things I really do intend on organizing better later, but for now, the important thing is to get this whole business up and running the way we want it to be running. Oh, oh dear. Stop right there. You see what I missed? I hope you see what I missed, because... You know what? No. We don't need two outputs here. Let's do it this way. No. Ooh, it's going to be crowded. Arg. Uh, arg. No. You know what? No. We'll do it the... We'll do it this way. Because that still works. Long-armed inserters to this belt right here. Oh. Regular inserters? Hold on, those don't, regular inserters don't reach that far, do they? Nope, they don't. Long-handed inserters, that's, that's weird. I could have sworn... Hmm, interesting. That is interesting. Maybe that's what some of these specialized inserters I've been seeing are for. Fast, far-handed inserter. Fast, okay, what about it? Okay, near-handed inserter sounds promising. Let's make one. I don't know if that's gonna, hold on, no, wait, a near-handed. Let's see. It would be nice if I knew what these did. Fast long-handed inserter, fast far-handed inserter. Could try a far-handed inserter, see what it does. It takes one long-handed inserter. See what it does. It does not do what I want it to do. That's too bad. Okay. We'll just go with the uh, original plan, but it just means we're going to have to move this over by one. It's not going to be quite as clean as I would have liked, but we'll save that for later. I think that might be useful later. All right, here we go. Ferric chloride, chlorine gas. Ferric chloride all the way across the map along our new liquid bus. Speaking of liquid buses, landfill factory. I don't have any fast inserters left, I guess I don't. Boy, that takes a lot of stone. Let's go get some more stone miners going. Rotate that to a new box. More stone. Two. There we go that to there. A little more stone. And a few landfills. I might have to do this after in the next episode. Because I think we've just annihilated. Actually, I might be able to do this if I'm careful. Okay, let's see if I can reach that. Can't quite. But those would be... That's at the limits. There we are. Okay. There's that one. This is the part where we get... Hopefully are getting clever about crossing that lake. Of course, we're going to actually want a shortcut across that lake eventually anyways. But for now... 
we're just gonna go with the straight lines are awesome rule. And we're gonna put one right about there. And one right about there. Ah, oh, darn, am I sh nope, I got lots, okay. Not quite. Can I reach it? Yes, I can. There we go. All right, this time we'll take it up and around. I'm gonna have to reconfigure this anyways. There we go. This whole, I mean, the factory is obviously going to have to start um, it's going to have to be split a little bit more there's going to have to be additional component areas I'm going to have to have a you know a second layer here I'm probably going to have a second uh, bus down here because I'm realizing just how many different ores and stuff I'm going to need to get into the factory so there's going to be layers of factories bringing in the secondary and tertiary products further down the line. Oh, you'll see. I mean, I've got I've got a vision for how this is going to work. All right. There we are. The ferret food is back. <sighs> now we need to start making transistors. Now these circuit boards, I'm going to want to be able to expand so the transistors are going to have to be on the next line over. Transistors require... Oh, right. Silicon. Silicon. That's what I was going to start manufacturing next. Calcium chloride, carbon, and quartz. So calcium chloride, stone, and hydrogen chloride. We're making hydrogen chloride. And that's done in a chemical furnace. So it's another chemical process. Which maybe we'll put that over by plastic for now. It does mean that stone has suddenly become absurdly valuable. Alright, let's slow down this landfill maker. In fact, that's probably getting close to being enough for now. We'll turn it off for now, because we're suddenly going to need a whole heck of a lot more of these things. More of that stone. Okay. So calcium chloride. Being the awesome liquid that it is, or gas. Let's get that out of there. We'll let this go underground properly so we don't block our future road. It actually goes underground just a little further than the, um... Hmm, nice. Than the iron pipes do. Now, I am going to eventually need plastic in that quantity that I'm making there, so I can't change that. What I can do is put in that right there. Hold on. Oh, there's one aspect missing. We need an output line. That output line is going to go... Actually, no, that's where the... Um... Hold on. Planning... Coal is going to go right there, so that means this has to go right here. Which means to output it, we need that space right there. Calcium chloride. Which means we need the stone to go right here. And that can go right there. Bring the calcium chloride into the second factory that's going to need it. This we will rework as we need more of these. And plug it in. And put it in. Power! There we go. Calcium chloride. 
Now silicon is made in a electrolyzer with calcium chloride, carbon, and quartz. Oh. It doesn't take very much stone. I've got an idea. And I've got a second idea, which is going to involve... Um, how are we going to do... How could we do this? Since the... If we wanted to do it is pairs here. We could do it like that. And then we have the calcium chloride going here, and you're going to be making... Oh, no, wait, you're an electrolyzer. Making silicon, which means we're going to need carbon. Carbon being made in a metal mixing furnace. So, actually... Let's just put a little more stone in there. Okay, that winds up on that side. So if I put metal mixing furnaces, okay, yes. Metal mixing furnace goes right here. No, not a metal mixing furnace, a chemical furnace. Put you down. Yeah, we'll put you here. Hold on, how are we going to do this? We do not want it to connect there. I think we have to move this whole thing. Because we're missing a intermediate step. We need to make carbon. And we need water to do that. And water can come from an offshore pump, which we'll make real fast here. Circuit board, pipe, gear wheels. Oh, I can always use a second one of those. Okay. Get that out of our way. Now we'll compact this down just a little by doing this. And then water will go under it like that. We will use a left inserter. There. And then we'll go up here. Gun turret damage researched. Let's make barreling? Nah. Rail logic. Don't know what we're gonna use that for yet, but. Alright, let's put that right here. And then we want that to go on to belt over here. And that will go on to the far side of the belt. And that other belt will be producing the calcium chloride, which will go right there. And that will come from the gas that we're bringing in right here. Like that. And then, oh, we need the stone. The stone comes in right here. Now, what was the third part of the silicon? That's the question. Requires quartz. So if we do it, that's and that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it this way. We're going to have stone come in here on one side of the belt. And we'll just throw the stone in here. And the quartz will come in on the other side. From, for now, from a box. Later, from a belt. 
because we have a quartz mine right close by. I'm just going to run down here, get this quartz. Full box of quartz. That'll last us a little while anyways. So then the chemical furnace right here will produce, no, not the chemical furnace, the electrolyzer produces the silicon from the four materials, or three materials. We'll definitely get two inserters here. Now, are there any other byproducts? No, nope, just the silicon plate. And then what we'll do is we will mirror it and put the materials right there. And that will get us silicon. There it is. So then this goes on the other side here. We get another one of those. But for now, we just get this out of here. And find a way to our bus. We might as well follow follow the plastic, I guess. Yep, I think that's going to be our best bet until we... I guess we might as well double-side it. Okay. Is that going to do it double-sided the way I want it to? No. It does have to go one further back than the splitter. There we go. And then the hard part, we're going to take it under to here. And then I think we're going to actually take this thing via the uh, lower route I've been contemplating. This whole area is going to get rebuilt. All these belts are going to get rerouted a lot more cleanly. Instead of doing that, we'll run the silicon on the surface for a bit. <sighs> yeah, there's two forms we're going to need it in. Let me just confirm the silicon powder comes from, yeah, silicon plate. Okay, yeah, they're both from the same source. Okay. So there's our transistor product, our transistor materials. So in the next episode, we'll get transistors going and we will get the plates going. And we'll be on the way to the next steps. Whatever those may be. Probably a more complex uh, manufacturing line. Maybe blue science. Blue science is where we're heading. Because that's going to be needed soon so that we can get our logistics system going and a few other things. In the meantime, let's, we'll discover how to research a few more things and I will see you in the next episode. I'll get this, uh, I'll figure out how to get this. I'm going to get this silicon over to the main factory off camera. So I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.